Hello everyone. Today, let me show you how to use a PLC device to control the speed of a DC motor model, which was downloaded in a DSpace device. This project is composed of four different parts. First, the PLC device and the developing computer for the PLC and the DSpace device and the developing computer which was connected to the DSpace. Okay, right now let me show you how to how to run the program. First, open the MATLAB Simulink program. This program will simulate the performance of a DC motor with the first order motor model. Here, this part will simulate the performance of a DC motor. And uh, here is the interface for the control signal from D from PLC. And uh, here is the target space which was uh, transferred from PLC as well. And uh, here is the motor output, that is the speed of the motor, which will be transferred to the PLC. First, let's uh, download this program to the D space in tools, real-time workshop, and uh, hit build model. So MATLAB started download uh, has started downloading the program to the D space. Okay, when it's finished, right now we need to open the D space control desk. First, let's open the variable file first. Find the variable file created just by P by MATLAB just now. And then open an experiment. Find the experimental file. It's here. And open it. This experiment file was uh, pre-developed, so we just open it and run it. Here, make the DC motor model to be ready. And uh, here, let me show you how to open the, how to run the PLC program. First, let's build this PLC program. In the bottom, it shows the status of the building progress, and it shows success succeeded. And then, let's download this program to the PLC. Here, in the on the bottom, it also shows the shows the status of downloading progress. Okay, when it's successfully downloaded, it asks us if we want to change to run mode. Hit yes. We can see it changed to run mode. It changed to run mode here. Let's switch to the main program. Okay, right now we can use the PLC. The program was downloaded to this PLC device. We can use this PLC device to set the target speed of the motor and then uh, also provide the control signal for the DC motor model. Okay. Right now, the speed is zero. 
we change this capture window time to 10 seconds. And uh, we don't need the auto request. It started uh, record. We hit stop first. And then we We set the speed to zero first, and then hit start capture, and then we set the spin to 500. We can see the desired speed and the actual speed was changed to 500. The red curve shows the desired speed. The green curve shows the actual motor speed. And uh, let's make another simulation. First, set the motor speed back to zero, and we can see it. And then hit start button, and on the PLC we set speed to seven hundred. We can see the desired speed was changed to 700, and the actual motor speed will catch up to 700 as well. OK, when we finish the simulation, let's just um, change the mode to edit mode, and then stop this program. At the same time, we can also change the PLC program from run mode to program mode. And then disconnect the PLC and the developing computer. Right now, we finish how to use the PLC device to control the speed of a DC motor model, which was downloaded to the D space. Next step. We will try to use the use, use this PLC program to control the speed of a real motor. Here we have a real motor this space um, connected to this space with the power electronic board. This is the DC motor.